take it to five things you need to know for today. A Michigan Supreme Court ruling is raising the state's minimum wage. So it's overruling initiatives that were put in place by Republicans in 2018, with the court saying they violated the state constitution. The min minimum wage will go from $10.33 to around $12.50 an hour, increasing with inflation and gradually phasing out lower minimum wage for tipped employees. The new minimum wage and there's also new paid sick time requirements in this law that go into effect at the end of February 2025. A $630,000 offer for Bay City State Theater is expected to go before a bankruptcy judge this morning. This as Midland Mall owner Jordan Dice and bidder Gregory Garchowski claimed that the planned, they planned to pay more than the accepted $630,000. Both filing motions claiming that the real estate broker misrepresented the facts. They want an open auction in court to determine the highest bidder. The hearing with a bankruptcy judge is today at 11. This morning, we're waiting to learn more about an in-air emergency that caused an F-16 to drop fuel tanks over Iosco County. The sheriff tells us two F-16s were in the area at the time. One fuel tank landed in Lake Huron, the other in a parking lot in Tawas, and it damaged some cars. Both jets, though, landed safely in Ohio. Birchwan Township is holding a meeting with the candidates tonight. Have a chance to get to know the candidates and their plans for office. Registered candidates for all the township's offices have been invited along with representatives from ballot initiatives. Starts tonight at 6 at Birch Run Speedway Clubhouse. If you're looking for a reason to get outside this weekend, make sure to stop by Frankenmuth for its annual flower festival. Happening at Grandpa Tiny's Farm, you can pick sunflowers, shop local vendors, and explore the barn. TV5's Lauren Piesco is live there this morning with a preview. Lauren, good morning. <laughs> yeah, Blake Sierra, good morning. We are standing in the heart of the Frankenmuth Flower Festival here in the sunflower fields at Grandpa Tiny's Farm. Joining me now is owner Wendy Winkle. Good morning. Good morning, Laura. Wendy, we've been exploring all the parts of the farm this morning. Uh, what can people do out here in the fields this weekend? Well, the number one thing, of course, is just to enjoy the beauty of the sunflowers. Mm -hmm. And so we really want people to explore the different fields because they each have something different to offer. You guys are offering you pick as well as just you can walk through the fields, take pictures at spots like these, right? Exactly. And of course, included with your admission, you get to pick a sunflower to take home with you. Love that. How many sunflowers can people pick? I know you're selling buckets as well. Yeah, well, the buckets can fit 30 to 40 in there, or possibly more. Um, but included, everyone gets to pick one sunflower to take home. You know, they're welcome to pick more. They're just a buck of flower. And you can make some flower crowns like we did this morning. Wendy made this one, actually. That's why it looks so good. Um, but, yeah, what is happening Saturday? Saturday is really the main day of the festival. You're going to have a lot of people out here in the fields, right? Yeah, Saturday starts pretty early. 9 a.m. is our Sunflower Fun color run. Love that. And part of the run, it runs through all of the sunflowers. It goes over our Black Iron Bridge and around our authentic one-room schoolhouse out there through our apple orchard. Uh, and then along the way, I don't know who has more fun, the racers or <laughs> those of us working it, yeah. because we get to pelt them with colored powder. So much and then fun. They have a big color fight at the end of that. And so um, then that pretty much kicks into the festival. All the vendors open up, the food trucks arrive, uh, the music, the DJ we have going on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have the dinners, of course, later on in the day. And we're hoping for the tethered hot air balloon rides, which mm. will be coming up right over here by the sunflower fields. Going to be a great time. Anything else people should know before they head out this weekend? Do they have to buy tickets for the festival? So tickets for the festival, yes, they're online. We may have them available at the gate, but we can't guarantee that. But the good news is that their ticket is good for any one of the three days. And so we highly recommend that they check the weather and just pick whichever day fits for whatever activities and then head on out that day. Well, we've got Matthew to help us with that. Wendy, thank you so much for having us out at the farm this morning. It is beautiful seeing the sunflower fields here in person. But for now, live in Frankenmuth, Lauren Piesco for TV5. For your weekend forecast, we're going to send it back over to Matthew.